So the blood spatter expert was, um, she actually ended up being very helpful to us because during, so she gave her direct and she, you know, she said that according to her expertise, that this murder would have had to have the, the origination of this um, crime happened on the couch based on the blood spatter on the couch, on the pillows near the couch, on the carpet in that area. That is the point of origination of this crime. And then that Samantha must have then made her way into the hallway where it appears that she fell in the hallway because there were hand marks which they were able to say were Samantha's hand marks that were on the wall as if she was trying to pull herself up. Now, the prosecution, what they did not want us to be able to get out, which we did, was that the medical or the blood spatter analyst agreed with us that those pools of blood in that hallway are a telltale sign that that body had to have been there for a substantial period of time to have accumulated that much blood in different areas in that hallway. That cannot happen in a 60 second time frame. That will not happen. There's no 60 second time frame with which this much blood can accumulate here, here, and here. There's a period of time that lapsed with that accumulating. That in and of itself destroys the prosecution's theory.